Good morning. Um, I, I, I will have uh, an opportunity now to give a short and brief summary of what has been done in the last three years. As Raina said, it was very interesting. <laughs> it was very interesting three years, but I think um, that we were more or less successful in all, all the activities that we planned. Um, so, um, what were the aims of the project? The aims of the project were uh, strategic partnership between different institutions in order to exchange skills, chance to transfer knowledge, um, in order to enhance university curricula related to science sciences. Uh, and that was planned to be achieved through intensive courses for uh, students, uh, different kinds of mobilities, uh, which have been uh, heavily impacted by, by a pandemic of COVID, and of course, seminars and conferences, and this is one of our, the last one of our conferences where we can um, exchange experiences and um, our opinions of how successful were we in the last few years. Um, this project, um, there are many partners in this project, five universities, Belgrade, Zagreb, Sarajevo, Ljubljana, and Cambridge, National Museum in Belgrade, Institute for Protection of Cultural Heritage in Slovenia, and two private enterprises, Sarsi and Kaduse, um, as uh, potentially um, jobs for uh, young professionals in archaeology and other heritage from this uh, disciplines. Um, first of uh, our uh, first activity was seminar in online education and it was uh, organized by the, by the university in Zagreb. Um, we learned so much and <laughs> we, did, we weren't aware of the fact that two weeks later lockdown <coughs> was implemented. So uh, we learned many interesting and very uh, valuable um, ways of teaching in, in the special conditions of lockdown and pandemic. So um, this is very uh, useful for all of us, not only STEM related, but in general. And thank you, Yasmin and Aina, for organizing this. Uh, the next <clears throat> workshop aimed at um, archaeology students uh, was also organized by the University in Zagreb and it was um, named the Intensive Course in Remote Sensing uh, with uh, lecturers from the University of Ljubljana, Institute of Cultural Heritage in Slovenia, and uh, our colleagues from Zagreb. And, uh, the students and participants in this um, workshop had the opportunity to work in, uh, uh, with uh, different remote sensing um, methods, aerial uh, photography, uh, light detection and imaging, and um, satellite imaging and so on. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, immediately after it was concluded, uh, the pandemic emerged and uh, lockdown was implemented everywhere so we had to stop with our um, activities as as many others but um, what our colleagues from Slovenia especially Frederick Novakovic um, tried to do with, with this project to organize um, virtual meetings uh, electronic meetings and uh, different kinds of uh, talks about uh, various topics in archaeology uh, and um, for this purpose, the um, YouTube channel for Telescope was uh, um, made. And uh, we have, I will tell you, all the lectures are still available, and we have more than 30 hours of recorded videos. Uh, so um, this was very um, fruitful for, uh, for the uh, time of uh, lockdown. And uh, it was also recognized by the, the project Human Digital Transformations in Humanities. Um, uh, they were recognized uh, these archaeological dialogues as 
uh, innovative and wonderful way of communicating archaeology in uh, in uh, lockdown. So um, it was uh, implemented with their um, website as an example of good practice um, in um, during the pandemic. Uh, of course, we had to um, go online with our workshops. So the first workshop in bioarchaeology uh, organized by the University of Belgrade was held uh, online only introductory uh, lectures. Uh, and later the same was done with the, uh, with the workshop uh, of geoarchaeology. Also, um, it was very interesting, one of our activities were um, dissemination of knowledge uh, related to STEM during the researchers' night in uh, 2020. Um, and uh, it was the host of the University of Ghana. And uh, Kelly's team also participated in uh, different ways, um, making uh, quizzes and recording videos, um, short videos. And we have 72 videos lasting four hours and 18 minutes. Uh, three quizzes and one live event, if I, if I remember correctly. Uh, and it seemed that it was very interesting to the public because it was um, still a public situation, so obviously many people uh, will watch this, uh, this content. And uh, until the March 2021, uh, it had more than 33,000 visits, so it was a really um, successful uh, idea. Um, Intensive course in data science organized by University of Ljubljana was held completely uh, online and it was uh, um, okay because uh, everyone had exercises in, uh, with their computers. And of course, uh, topics were uh, various, big data, data classification, data clustering, predictive modeling, 3D modeling, and so on. So uh, participants really could learn new techniques um, and apply them to archaeology and archaeological material. Um, then uh, intensive course in bioarchaeology in vivo in person was, was held in Belgrade. And the participants learned how to, um, uh, how to analyze and work with human and animal bones. Intensive course in geoarchaeology was held also in person for five days. What was it? Right. Yeah, five, 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 days, days. five days. Five days. Five working days because introductory lectures were held online also. Uh, it was organized by the University of Zagreb in Cambridge and uh, RK. And uh, participants learned how to um, techniques such as scoring, overing, uh, sampling uh, of soil for. Uh, physical analysis, and so on. Um, and uh, in June in Belgrade, the seminar in entrepreneurship was uh, held here in Belgrade, and it was aimed at young professionals who are seeking for jobs at the job market. So um, several lectures were held uh, concerning different experiences in different countries, concerning the legislative uh, conditions and um, examples of good practice and so on. Um, and finally, <laughs> the final, final workshop of our project was how the National Museum in Belgrade and it was um, named the course the Museum Studies in Archaeology um, and participants um, heard lectures about um, implementation and application of STEM science within museums. Uh, activities for curation, preventive interest in conservation, different kinds of analysis of uh, portable archaeological finds, nature of archaeological records, and what we, uh, what it, what was left for us to work with, and, and so on. Uh, and of course, they um, visited uh, museum in Vienna, and uh, uh, we tried to disseminate our. Um, uh, what have we done on different occasions? 
first of all, at, at uh, Meta uh, conference in Zagreb in 2020, after our first year at Proper Experience, then a uh, colleague Raina uh, presented uh, Erasmus at the final conference of um, course, course of project. And uh, of course, uh, it, the, the, our activities during the pandemic uh, were presented at the European Association of Archaeologists meeting last year in Kiel um, under the session um, concerning innovative uh, approaches to communicating archaeological heritage in special situations like pandemic. And uh, I must say it was very successful, the paper is in print right now. And uh, I, I will try to summarize and to conclude everything. Uh, during these three years, despite all the difficulties uh, we faced, um, we um, had uh, almost 100 students in different activities and workshops, if we count. Uh, online online uh, content and online lectures, this number is doubled and uh, uh, it is approximate 200 students and young professionals who were uh, listening to, to uh, different kinds of lectures. And uh, on the other hand, we had more than 44 <coughs> different lecturers and trainers, professors who were giving their experience and, their, and transferring their knowledge to to uh, all of, of the participants. Uh, evaluation of all of our workshops showed that um, the participants and the attendees were very happy with what they learned. Um, they all of them agreed that this content and this uh, STEM-related uh, field is very important for their future careers. And uh, um, we really uh, have been graded with high grades. So uh, I think that we have really um, good uh, outputs of our um, of our activities. And what have we to do now? Um, after we conclude this conference, we will uh, also exchange what have we achieved after all this. And uh, uh, after exchanges experiences, we will give recommendations for uh, implementing of STEM sciences in the future. So this was in brief, I hope I was in time. Thank you.